This is Single Pack Link. To learn more about the Game Boy Advance Single Pack multiplayer functionality, such as how to connect compatible games with GBA Link cables, be sure to check out my how-to video, link in the description. Although he made a name for himself on PC, Jazz Jackrabbit received a GBA sequel that supports a single pack multiplayer mode for up to four players. The 2D side-scrolling gameplay from the single player campaign has been translated to a simple free-for-all deathmatch multiplayer experience that only requires one game pack. One button jumps while the other one shoots, and the shoulder buttons chuck carrot grenades and switch weapons. It offers some mindless action that anyone can pick up and play. Other than adjusting the number of frags to complete a match, there are no other options to tweak or gameplay types available. There are no team battles, bot matches, or other objective types like Capture the Flag, for example. But there are a few playable stages, and each one is rather different. The first stage has a cave theme, and it's composed of several platforms. The second stage is essentially divided into two areas thanks to a separating wall in the middle. And the third stage favors a more vertical orientation. Just keep in mind that you'll need to play the single player campaign to unlock more multiplayer stages. One small detail that I think is really cool is that Jazz Jackrabbit on GBA solved the aiming at a 45 degree angle problem in a thoughtful way. For example, if shooting upward at an angle in classic Contra, Metal Slug, or even Metroid, you still have to move forward or hold a button to pivot in place. But here in Jazz Jackrabbit, if you first press up, then quarter circle downward, you can easily aim at any angle without needing to hold down any other button. This is all from one fluid and accurate motion. It's one of those things that works so well, and it's a wonder why other 2D action games haven't stolen this thoughtful control concept. But, like many other action games, it can be uneventful if playing with just one other player. The 1v1 deathmatch isn't exactly the most fun, but gets more entertaining with 3 or 4 players, so try and play with a full roster if possible. Also, there's no music in the single pack multiplayer mode, which does make the experience feel a little empty. But given the lack of load times and not needing to restart the GBAs, the fluid animation and weapon sets, and 4 player support, it is an excusable compromise. The multi-boot mode found in the GBA version of Jazz Jackrabbit is pretty mindless and simple, but that doesn't make it bad. It actually reminds me of the technically impressive single pack link mode found in A Sound of Thunder and Army Men Turf Wars, since the moveset is basically the same, only this is from a side-scrolling perspective instead of isometric. If you haven't seen my GBA single pack link coverage of those games, I'll leave a link in the description. So, what do you think? Did you know that Jazz has a GBA sequel and the original was created by Cliff Blazinski? Would you play this multiplayer mode if you had some link cables and some friends? What is your opinion about green rabbits that throw vegetable explosives to murder other weirdly colored rabbits? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this one cartridge multiplayer coverage, be sure to check out all my other single pack link compatible GBA games right here in my playlist. Until next time, thank you for watching and game on.